Hi, I'm Cheryl, and today we're going to be replacing a support roller in a Maytag gas dryer. You may need to change your support roller if you hear a loud banging when the machine is running. This repair should only take about 20-25 minutes. For this repair, we're only going to need three tools, a stiff putty knife, 5 16 nut driver, and a flathead screwdriver. If you don't already have a new support roller, they are available for purchase on our website. Before repairing your gas dryer, make sure to turn the gas off and unplug it. To start this repair, we are going to need to flip the top back, so make sure you have a wall to lean it against or something to support it from the back. We'll start by depressing the two clips that are at the front of the dryer with our stiff putty knife. Next we can disconnect the door switch. Take your flathead screwdriver, lift up on the tab. Start pulling those apart. Next we need to remove the two screws at the front holding on the front panel. We'll take our 5 16 nut driver to remove those. To remove the front panel, simply lift up and pull back and set it to the side. Next, we're going to need to disconnect the two wire terminals at the moisture sensors here. We'll just pull those off. Next, we'll remove the bulkhead. In order to do that, we need to loosen the top two screws and then remove the four bottom screws. We'll do that. Next, we're going to take off the front of the bulkhead and lay it down on the ground, so I recommend putting a towel down to protect the floor. There are two support rollers on the back that we'll be working on. Just lift up and pull off the screws on the top. Two of the support rollers are located on the back of the bulkhead. The other two are located behind the drum. If you need to replace one behind the drum, we will be showing you how to do that in a minute, but for now, we're gonna work on these ones up here. It's gonna be the same process. We're gonna start by removing this tri-ring. Just take your flathead screwdriver, pry up on that. Set that to the side. Now you'll be able to remove the support roller. There's also a triangular ring on the back that you're going to want to replace as well. So you're going to pry up on that to get that off as well. There we go. Now we can place our new support roller. We'll start by placing our new tri rings. So just go ahead and push the back one down. If it gets stuck at the top, you might need to use your flathead to help pry that down. There we go. Locks into place. Place your new support roller. It doesn't matter which direction it goes on. As long as it can spin freely. And place your top tri ring. There we go. Next, we're going to need to release the tension on the belt in order to get the drum out. In order to do this, we need to reach behind the motor and feel for the idler pulley. All right, so I'm just gonna take off my gloves so I can make sure I have a good feel for what's going on back there. So we're gonna reach back, find that pulley. We're gonna push the pulley to the right. To release some tension so we can get the belt off the motor. And that'll release the tension so we can get the drum out. And now we can lift up on the drum by the belt and take it out. And set it to the side. 
There are also two support rollers located at the back behind the drum. Now we can replace the drum by lifting up on the belt and placing it back in the dryer. Make sure that the belt is about three quarters of the way back on the drum and that the rib side is facing the drum. And now we can rehook up the belt to the idler pulley and the motor. We'll need to reach back underneath. We're going to lace the belt through the bottom of the idler pulley and push the idler pulley to the right and loop it around the motor. And then give it a spin to make sure it's all lined up. Next, we can replace the front of the bulkhead. We could start by lining up the exhaust on the bottom. Push the drum back. It has to sit on the support rollers. And then just lift the bulkhead onto the keyed holes. There we go. And we can start screwing in the screws that we removed. And now we can reconnect the wires. Black on the bottom. Yellow on top. Now we're ready to replace the front panel. So we'll just line that up. Has to go on those bottom hooks. Lift slightly up and push in those hooks. Rescrew in the front panel screws. And there we go. Reconnect the door switch. Now we can close the lid. You may just need to push in the tabs a little bit. And then you can push the top down. Not too hard, right? Here's a quick recap. All of our OEM parts and tools are available for purchase on our website. Check them out along with our social media sites here.